Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. It's Michael back with more practical data solutions and today we'll be focused on MP4 files and this terrible error code. Okay, let's get started. To warmest welcome to the channel and if you're offensive you know, short, on-topic, easy-to-follow tutorials, I think subscribing would be a good idea. Now, MP4 files, and to play them back is pretty nice, but if we start getting this error message, things are going to start to be annoying. Doesn't matter if you see that occasionally or very often, uh, if it appears once, it's most likely going to appear again and again and again, and that doesn't make fun when, when you're watching your favorite video. So let's start to think about how to get rid of it. As always, when we talk about errors and problems, we need to find out about their root cause. And, you know, most often these issues are associated with MP4 and AVI files. And usually we can narrow down the possible causes to just a few. Could be because of your video player. It either does not support a specific format or it's too outdated. Try another video player. We most often recommend using VLC player. Could be that your video is corrupt. If your camera did not shut down properly or any other accident happened, yes, could be that your MP4 or AVF files are unreadable, therefore you're gonna get this message. A wrong codec is another possibility or could be an outdated driver. And we've already shown you how to do driver updates easily and quickly, check some of our previous episodes linked over here. A file extension has a key role, so if it's wrong it's going to call up the wrong codex in the player, so yes, that's another suspect, or at the end, a virus. Yes, a virus could also be a reason that you're experiencing troubles with playing back your video files. Good, we've highlighted all the possible root causes. Now, let's talk about solutions. We're going to start with the media player. If you use VLC as a default, you'd be happy because that's going to save you some time from the installation. But if you haven't heard about VLC or if you don't use it, you need to download it. Yes, right now. And in order to not miss anything, hit the pause of this video right now. Hit the pause. Okay, assuming VLC is already installed, we right-click on the media file that we want to play and we select Open with VLC Media Player. In case VLC also fails to play the file, let's now use VLC Player to help us to fix any errors which are occurring with our MP4 files. Let's make a copy of the MP4 file, rename it to AVI. Then we open VLC, head over to Preferences, in the Tools menu, and then we click Inputs Codecs followed by choosing Always Fix from the drop-down near the damaged or incomplete AVA files. And then we select Save. Second method. In case the issue is still persisting, you might need to download manually and install missing codecs. You know, the truth is that every media player uses dedicated codecs to support different file formats. For instance, the Windows Media Player doesn't support MP4 file format by default. Therefore, we need to do an installation of the codex manually. We open the media player, we select options under the tools menu, we go to the player tab and we check the box before download codex automatically. That's it. Now your media player is going to start downloading all the necessary codex and your MP4 file is most likely to going to play fine. If that doesn't help either, we go to method three converting to another file format and we again use VLC. We go to the media menu, we select convert safe, we tap add file and choose the video file that we want to convert, use the drop down menu to choose the new file format, click browse to choose the destination folder and tap the start button and wait patiently. Larger files usually need a little bit longer time. If none of these methods is working, we get the big guns. Well, that's just a camera, you know. I'm talking about Wondershare Video Repair, which thanks to its user-friendly interface and extremely powerful rescue algorithm is gonna fix all your MP4 files in no time. Let's open the app. Obviously, there's not too much that you can do wrong, so hit the Add button and choose the file from your file library. Click the Repair button from the bottom left corner of the screen and wait 
until the process completes. Once the file is repaired, you can tap the little play icon in order to check whether the file works or not. If the file is working fine, select Save All and choose the destination folder. If you're not happy with the results, go ahead and select the Advanced Repair option on the right side. Tap the folder icon and add a sample video file which is similar to the one you're about to recover and hit that repair button, then the software is going to use the sample files information to repair your corrupted video and at the end your mp4 file is going to play fine. Whew, another big topic covered today and we have used many different techniques to fix those mp4 files. I really hope that now after covering all that you're enjoying your mp4 or avi files uninterruptedly in its best possible quality. Well, that's been it for today's episode and in case you have any troubles or questions or follow-up comments, there's the section right below the video. For more practical data solutions and tutorials like this, consider subscribing. I'll be very happy to see you in the next episode and for now wishing you a great day. Bye!